that one. Get over your line. Oh, got him. Oh, my. Damn, that was a fight. How'd you like that? Dude. Oh, hell. Oh, you swallowed that thing on the Ned. Uh, no, just slow dragging it. All right. Oh, close your mouth, buddy. Dude, just like an eighth of an inch shy of 22. All right, cool. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, 21 and three quarters. Oh man, on that raggedy ass little eagle claw, <laughs> Ned rig, or at least the hook. He bent my hook a little bit too. Hang on, that isn't where this story starts. I have largely kayak fished for catfish since I started almost three years ago. Well, that is definitely a blast. I've had an interest in learning to kayak bass fish. My friend, Ron Himmelhaver, runs a local catfishing group I fish in and invited me along to fish the KBF Trail Series Tournament on Lake Murray for the month of February. I spent a few weeks going out on my kayak to figure out the basics. In catfishing, I hook a bloody skipjack head onto a 12 aught circle hook, drop it to the bottom, and for the most part, just wait. Now I have to locate and then convince these fish that my piece of plastic on the end of my line is delicious. While out practicing, I ended up catching a white bass that I located with my side imaging using a swim bait. Once we got down to South Carolina, we had one day to pre-fish and the weather was gorgeous. I took my drone out to capture some aerial footage and true form. That didn't go well. The rest of the day was spent casting and winding with no success locating fish. Meanwhile, Ron caught a little over a dozen bass. On day one of the tournament, the weather took a turn for the worse. Launching at 6.30 a.m., I crossed the lake in darkness through wind and waves coming over my bow and getting rained on. I caught two fish, a 15 and a half and 17 and a quarter inch bass, but didn't have my camera set up on my kayak for the first hour due to the rain. The rest of the morning was spent battling for the wind and waves, three trees of calm while in a creek or cove and protected from the wind in the main lake. I thought I had hooked into a tank, but it ended up being a pickerel. Hey Rod. Not the target species.
Still don't think my 32 and a quarter is going to cut it. That's the menu for the tournament, right? Okay. Now I've got two fish submitted. I gotta do it one more again. Okay. So now all three of my fish are in. Now I'm gonna go to the leaderboard because <laughs> it. So I'm in 38. 54. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> well, we're not done either. <laughs> no. I'm sure there's plenty of people that haven't submitted yet. 15 minutes into day two, and I caught a 21 and three quarter inch bass in what would be the third biggest out of 877 fish caught between 120 anglers. Unfortunately, I didn't buy into the big fish part of the tournament, so it didn't count for that. Still, it was an awesome experience. The remainder of the day, I largely traced the same route as the day prior. For the last 90 minutes, I went back to a stretch of docks that I knew had produced fish the day prior around the same time of day. In the last 15 minutes of the tournament on the last dock in that stretch, I hooked up with a 19 inch bass. Of course, I didn't win the tournament. I never expected to. There are some amazingly talented anglers who fish this sport and have put years, decades even, of work into perfecting their craft. I'm just excited to be out here on the water next to them. This experience is one of the funnest things I've ever done. I will certainly still catfish for my kayak, but after this, I will also be spending a good bit of my time on the water chasing this little green fish. <laughs>